What feelings do you constantly feed in your heart? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Once upon a time, there was a very wise and holy man who lived apart from others. He would spend hours and hours alone in prayer and meditation and would leave his home only when war broke out. He was respected by all because he knew how to bring peace. One day, two students came to him to honor him and to learn from him. We want to follow you, for you have brought everlasting peace to our people, they said. But the wise and holy man told them that peace will not come in this life, for we are constantly at war. The two young students did not understand, so the wise man continued. There are two creatures that are inside of us that are fighting each other. One feeds on anger, resentment, bitterness, frustration, fear, and doubts. The other feeds on mercy, forgiveness, compassion, understanding, and love. The two pupils could not believe what they were hearing. They asked the old man, which creature is stronger? The wise man responded, it depends. It depends on which one you feed the most. Today's gospel reading is a continuation of the dialogue between Nicodemus and Jesus. Nicodemus is a Jewish scholar, an intellect, a Pharisee, and a member of the 71-man Sanhedrin. But he was searching. His life was seemingly incomplete, and Jesus would complete it for him. His clandestine meeting with Jesus at night was to ensure that he probed Jesus without being derided by his fellow Pharisees. He was hungry for the truth, but he wasn't fully convinced to come out into the open to pledge allegiance to Jesus. A Pharisee who defects is certainly not a common thing, but Jesus nonetheless was so convincing that later on, Nicodemus would come to Jesus' side to defend him from certain death, albeit unsuccessful. It is interesting to reflect on the truth. There are times that we are like Nicodemus. We are convinced of the truth, but we hem and haw when confronted in our beliefs. We cannot shake off the weight of our past. We procrastinate because we are still enjoying our sinful pleasures. Or we have invested so much in our image and stature that it is difficult to detach ourselves from such. We continue to expose ourselves to friends who bring us to sin instead of bringing them to the light. We all have to face our own problems and situations in life. Oftentimes, we are drawn to Jesus because we feel empty. We are searching. We want to stop the sinful behavior that has led us to a meaningless, joyless life. When those moments come, we must acknowledge that we can be ruled by the forces of darkness if we keep ourselves exposed to sin. One of the most quoted passages in the Bible is from John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. He died on the cross to save us from sinking deeper into the pits of sin. What we know is that God's immense love for us is something we can never ever understand. Why? Because our weaknesses, our failures, our sins are put aside as far as He is concerned. He focuses on our potential, the promise in us who can be redeemed when we set our hearts to it. The cross symbolizes our own journey to our own dark calvaries. But there is the light of the resurrection waiting for us if we decide to repent, if we become determined to follow Jesus and avoid sin. Indeed, when we feed our inner love for one another, forbearing and forgiving with one another, compassionate and merciful to each other, our attitudes and actions will simply follow what our heart dictates. Peace and joy will fill our hearts. But if we harbor anger, bitterness, and resentment, we will always be trapped in the darkness of our hopeless world, paralyzed by our inability to love, incomplete and forever bothered by our indecisiveness to follow Jesus. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, help me to be like you in loving others. Fill my heart with the light of your Holy Spirit, so that I may boldly proclaim the truth, and to always look to you to feed my inner heart of love. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.